Hey everybody, it's Jackie Schomburg Minen. I am doing a collage video today. I've been putting off my art for a while this week and after getting over a cold and having some family in town, starting to get back and didn't really know where to start. So I thought I would just do a sketchbook collage exercise. To start out, I just collected some interesting paper scraps that I have. I have a dedicated bin and then folders of interesting paper. A lot of it is, you know, scraps from mono printing and other doodles or journal pages or anything else I find interesting. To start out, I'm just taking some scraps that I find particularly interesting today and arranging them on the paper to see what I like. I'm using matte medium here. Oh, sorry, gloss medium here. I'm using gloss medium here. You can also use Mod Podge, matte medium. Some people use just straight varnish. For ease of cleanup, I highly recommend using a color shaper, which is what I'm using. It looks like a paintbrush on the bottom. On the top, there's a uh, silicone, that gray wedge is a silicone base thing, so it's bendable and it flattens the paper out well. And to clean it up, you can wash it or I just wipe it with a baby wipe. So it's extremely easy to clean up, which also means it's very easy to jump in, work for five minutes, and then step away. If you have kids, like I do, <laughs> um, and you only get a few minutes at a time, it's very helpful. Brushes, it doesn't seem like a big deal to wash a brush, and it's not. When you have a lot of brushes, it becomes time consuming, and this way you don't have to worry about that. That's part of my stack of paper, of collage papers. Most of what I do is just going by gut feel, what looks good, what I like. This is very different from process art, even though it might look the same. With this, I am specifically looking for something that I think looks neat at the end. Might not be museum quality or have amazing depth of insight, but I am focused on the outcome. tried many, many things quickly just to see if it looked interesting. Lots of ideas got rejected or moved around. Collage is really satisfying because you can easily move things around before you glue them down and try on lots of different shapes, lots of different colors, lots of different textures. 
until you find something that you like. It's also very neat, except for all the papers everywhere. Maybe I take that back. If you can find a way to do collage without scraps of paper everywhere, please let me know your system, because I have not found it yet. In terms of materials, though, all you need is some sort of glue. So I'm using gloss medium again. And you need one color shaper or a brush, matte medium, and paper. That's it. If you want to be a little extra, you can use some crayons like I'm using here. Putting down some tape to mask off the other side so I get a clean edge on those stripes. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more. And I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody.